Hello fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to another episode of Nadia Shaw Productions. I am your host Nadia Shaw. Thank you so much for being here. I am as always thrilled by my guests. I am as always really excited and I feel so privileged to celebrate with you some of the most amazing people that I have ever met and today is no exception. Parul Pandya is the author behind The House of Provocation, a hugely successful blog online. And she's also a contributor to Extra Newspaper, the largest queer newspaper in Canada. She also works to provide grants to ethno-cultural communities across Ontario here in Canada as well. So we're gonna have lots of wonderful things to talk about from the creative process right to the heart of giving as well and how it is a wonderful spiritual attribute. Here she is, my friend, Parul. Welcome, Parul. Thank you. What is great about being a writer? Ah, well, I can say that writing for me is strictly cathartic. It's a way of expressing myself. It's a way of allowing my thoughts to formulate. It's a way of allowing my emotions to solidify. And it's also a way of allowing my emotions to release. I've always been a highly emotional person. So cancer. <laughs> yes. Cancer through and through, definitely. And so a lot of time I think when I was younger, I, I was confused as to how to place those emotions and use them to um, you know, better me as a person and allow that to better me as an artist or in, in my voice. House of Provocation, for those friends and fans who are not familiar with the blog yet, will be right after this. I'm sure they'll go log on uh, very quickly to your blog. How can you characterize the House of Provocation? I think of it very much like entering an antique house. It's kind of a collection of anything and everything that's on my mind. So it can be anything from um, social observations to poetry to my education background is in history. So I do a lot of history perspectives, um, women in history or events that have inspired me from my perspective. I also do a lot of work with the queer community. Um, so it's definitely become a place uh, where I encourage Toronto queers and all queers to go that made me feel a little isolated, left out. A lot of feedback I get is from younger queers that are looking for guidance, whether it's around coming out or being true to themselves, so the rejection of family. So I definitely try and voice a positive, empowering experience through all my writing. Very empowering is the word I would definitely use. Um, an awakening in the sense of really understanding my true aptitude to be able to touch people. Um, but then also um, empowering in the sense that after I wrote one piece, I wanted to write another and then another and and there was nothing that was holding back my creativity because I was the creator of the blog, so I wasn't um, attuned to anyone's rules. Well, I think it's truth, right? Whenever something mm -hmm. is honest and you put out there honestly, mm -hmm. um, it's an honest expression, it's bound to garner support. It's bound to resonate with people because it is honest. The grant that I'm working on is a particular grant that infuses capital money into ethnocultural communities. And it's a one-time fund of $40 million. And it's a fantastic opportunity for, again, to, for learning. But the, the strength of it is, is just focusing on being able to serve those who help people with immigrational services, social and human services that focus on root communities to do with diversity. And so it was a kind of a fantastic way of bringing in all my passions in, in a professional way. Um, so it gives me the opportunity to really like uh, learn um, about what is happening, uh, different diversities, whether it's belief systems or, um, but the fantastic thing is just um, uncovering the vibrancy of Toronto and seeing that we all have the potential to grow in our community so much more than, uh, than we already have. Well, thank you so much for being here and being here in this moment to share with the audience your, um, the love of your presence. Well, thank you so much for being here as well for this fun and quirky and fascinating conversation <laughs> with my friend Parul, the inspiring Parul. And until we connect again, take care. <laughs>